Hello guys, how's it going? It's Adrian from AIC Productions here, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a muzzle flash effect. If you see any of our short films like uh, Boom, Evaluation, or Men in the Box, um, then I'm going to walk you through the exact process that I use to do all of the uh, muzzle flashes for those movies. So here we go. I'm going to be using After Effects for this tutorial. We're going to go into our project, and we're going to import our footage. I'm going to be using the gun footage that I recorded in my backyard. I have the uh, file for it down in the description below if you want to use it for practice. So we'll go ahead and use that. So here we go. All right, so now that you have it imported, you're going to right click on it and you're going to create a new composition from the selection. So here we go. I'm going to trim it really quick. So uh, trim the work area to about right there. I'm going to right click trim comp to work area. And there we go. Now we basically have the whole thing. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to import our muzzle flash effect. And um, I'll be using a clip from Action Essentials 2. If you don't have Action Essentials 2, then you could use a still image from Google Images. And um, you can use that instead. Just make sure it's copyright free just to avoid all the bullshit with that. And um, yeah, so let me just find my muzzle flash effect. And uh, we'll use this one right here. Yeah, we'll use that one. So then you're going to take your muzzle flash effect that you imported and you're going to place it right on top of the source footage. Now you're going to go to the point of the image where you have the uh, gun shooting, basically. So right before the barrel raises up as you shoot the gun in, in the footage. And then you're going to line your muzzle fla flash effect right here with the barrel or the front of the barrel rather should I say so uh, there we go of course now looks like shit completely that's not what we want so what we're gonna do is get rid of the black that's behind the muzzle flash so we're gonna right click on it go to blending mode and click add right now our black is gone and now we're gonna make it big enough to where we can uh, so to where it looks realistic, so now we're going to left click on this point of the image right here and hold left shift on your keyboard and then you're going to drag it all the way up and that'll scale it up to the point where you want. I'm going to make mine pretty big so it looks pretty realistic. So I'll put it at about right there. There we go. Alright, as you can tell, it looks like complete shit. That's not what we want. So we are going to mask out the part of my hand which is this part right here, to, to, to where it's right in front of the muzzle flash so it looks like it's actually coming from the barrel of the gun as opposed to like a firecracker lighting up in your fucking face. We'll do that by clicking on our source footage and duplicating it by pressing Control and D. We're gonna shrink this part all the way to one frame, which is the muzzle flash frame right there. And there we go. And then we're going to basically, I'm going to turn the muzzle flash layer off really quick while I create a, uh, a layer for masking out the hand. So there we go. Of course, it's, you can't see anything. I'm going to click on the pen slash mask tool and I'm going to mask out the barrel of the gun. Or rather, should I say the slide of the gun? All the way around to the entire part of the pistol. Ooh, wrong, right there. I'm gonna make sure that I get all of my hand around the whole thing. It doesn't have to be pinpoint accurate, but you're gonna wanna make sure you get most of the area that the muzzle flash is right in front of. So in this case, I'll just make sure it's right all around my hand and the gun basically. So hold it out to about right there. Okay, there we go. So now that you've completed your mask, we're gonna reset our footage. Ooh, there we go. So now we're gonna click on our mask. We're gonna turn on the layer again and as you can tell, Still in front of it. We're gonna we're gonna take the layer and move it right in front of the muzzle flash, and there we go. 
So now as you can tell, it looks a lot more realistic, but of course it lo still looks a little bit too jagged and rough around the edges. And we're basically gonna fix that by going into the, uh, underneath the effect and go to mask, mask one. We're gonna feather the mask. Basically it diffuses the edges, makes it look a lot more realistic as you can tell. There we go, we pretty much got it right there. We're gonna rename this layer really quick to gun. Just to say, just to show that it's our layer that's right in front of our muzzle flash. And there you go. Of course the muzzle flash right here lasts two frames, so it's gonna look all like the muzzle flash is still in front, but we're gonna fix that by just shrinking it down to one frame. Uh, the Action Essentials footage has that for some weird reason. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like basically. So there we go, we've got a basic muzzle flash effect. Now of course that's not all to it. Uh, we're still gonna add one more thing because I feel like it needs a little bit more of an effect to really sell it off. So we're gonna, once again, we're gonna go back to our root footage, our base footage, and we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna shrink it down to the f part of the frame where the muzzle flash happens. And we're gonna rename this layer to, to flash. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pen or mask tool once again, and we're gonna draw all the way around, all the way around our gun, or rather the muzzle flash. And uh, there we go, now it's complete. I'm gonna right click on it. We're gonna go to blending mode. We're gonna click add. And of course that looks like shit. You don't want it to look like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna add a feather to it. Feather to the mask, rather, should I say. And uh, just feather it out to about right there. All right, so now we pretty much have it. We have a flash effect that looks pretty realistic. So there you go, you got your basic uh, muzzle flash effect with a glow effect to really sell off that muzzle flash, flash that happens right behind the muzzle flash. And there you go. So now that we've got our slide mask out, we're gonna take this layer, the slide layer, we're gonna place it all the way to the top, up above the gun mask that we used to, to uh, put it right in front of the muzzle of, of the muzzle flash. So we're gonna take that slide. Now we're gonna move it all the way back. So now we're gonna go up to our effect and then go to blur and sharpen and click Gaussian blur. And then we're gonna go click horizontal to make the blur only apply to the horizontal part of the image. We're gonna blast it up all the way to about right there. And if you wanna see a basic early version of it, it's right there. You could see that there's blowback action when I play it back, but that's not all. We still have a couple of problems here. We still got this part of the gun that won't go away. We're gonna click on our gun layer that we created and we're basically going to decrease the mask to the point where the slide moves back. So we'll move it out around right here. We'll get rid of this layer. As you can tell, the flash is starting to become much more permanent. And uh, we'll decrease it all the way to about right there. Crease it upwards. Make sure we get a whole entire layer. It just looks like the slide is pushed back. And as you could tell, so now that we have that masked out, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our source footage once again. And we're going to go all the way to the beginning of the clip where the gun basically moves. Like you can see the gun move right here. It's cause I'm scrolling all the way to the beginning of the clip where I have nothing in front of the camera. That's what I call the clean plate. And we're gonna use that to get rid of our background footage or basically the rear sides of the gun right here that we have. So we're gonna scroll the way back right there. First I'm gonna crop it from the back. I'm gonna move it right there. Make it last about a frame. We're gonna rename that to clean plate. So there you guys go. That's pretty much the uh, effect right there. As you can tell, the slide pushes back. And since it happens so quick, people will be unforeknowingly seeing our effect that is happening right before their eyes. So if you play it back, 
There it is right there. This is what it looks like without the slide. Yep, big difference as you can tell. All right guys, so there you go. That's pretty much the effect right there. And once you're done, you're gonna go to file, you're gonna click export and you're gonna click add to render queue. And uh, you could export as a lossless, you can name your file to whatever name you want and specify to the folder that you want and then click render and I'll render it out as the specified file to that specific destination. And then all you get to do is just put it into your editor and slip it right in there with the other clips and uh, there you go.